began this exercise, we placed Advertoria and we listed the thematic areas we wanted to address in this constitution review exercise. As a consequence of that, we held public hearings across the six geopolitical zones. We actually went to two centers in each geopolitical zone to collate the views of Nigerians on these thematic areas. On return, we collated those views and working jointly uh, as committees of the National Assembly, the Senate and the House, we were able to harmonize our positions for our members to deliberate on. We've done that, we came to a harmonized position, but we realize that we alone cannot make a constitutional alteration. It also requires the concurrence of at least 24 state houses of assembly. So what we've done today, uh, beginning yesterday, frankly, uh, is to have this interaction with them, uh, share with them what we've done, why we did it, and ask for their buy-in. And uh, we are hopeful that we've succeeded uh, in that enterprise and that uh, they will go home and await the votes uh, from the National Assembly. Uh, we expect that uh, sometime between uh, the 18th and uh, the 21st, we should be able to get the report ready for both chambers. And beginning the 22nd of this month, or thereabout, we we'll take the votes. We are determined to complete this exercise on or before the end of this month. And most definitely, there's always need to review the constitution. Um, times change. Um, technology has made um, our environment different. Insecurity also is always a threat, not just to Nigeria, but every country, not even in Africa, every country worldwide. So there's need for us to adapt. There's need for us to review. And there's need for us to make important decisions in order for us to move the country forward and to secure the lives and properties of our people. Um, my message to Nigeria is to let them understand that this process that we are doing here is organic. It is something that has been generated from all corners of, um, of the country and we are working to, with um, all stakeholders. We are working with everybody involved, um, religious heads, um, NGOs, um, civil societies and the common man. So we are going to ensure that um, whatever we do is uh, fair to every single person in Nigeria, be it um, any religion, be it any tribe, be it any ethnicity. Um, I believe that with the leadership of the Senate, the leadership of the House of um, Representatives, also with the leadership of the various Houses of Assembly here present, we will do what's best for our country. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.